Rumor has it that Starfield could be fully revealed this year. Yes, this year. For those who may not know what I'm talking about, Starfield is the next big project from the team that brought you Skyrim, Skyrim Legendary Edition, Skyrim VR, Skyrim Special Edition, and Skyrim Very Special Edition. Now, Skyrim and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards First you. Roda. I didn't catch that. F First Roda! I didn't quite catch Outro. that. First Roda! Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. As of this recording, we don't know much about Starfield, other than it's an open world, maybe open worlds, single player RPG that takes place in outer space. The team at Bethesda Game Studios has been dropping hints for the last couple years, but we don't have a lot to go off of. Will it be weird to say the word Starfield in front of people? What'd you just say? <laughs> You gotta watch that, man. Someone will hear you. <laughs> so I decided it might be fun to make a list of the top seven things we want Todd Howard to wear next time he takes the stage at E3. Yeah! Just kidding. Here are the top seven things we want to see in Starfield. Number one, an engine overhaul. This is already happening, but I knew I had to include it. According to God Howard in an interview for the Develop Brighton conference, this engine overhaul will be a huge leap forward. According to Todd, bigger than the jump from Morrowind to Oblivion. To quote the man himself, From rendering to animation to pathing to procedural generations, I don't want to say everything, but it's a significant, significant overhaul. Hopefully this also means we won't be hit with as many loading screens. Procedural generation really stands out here though. This could mean a procedurally generated solar system or universe for the player to explore, or it could mean better procedurally generated quests like the Radiant quest we saw in Skyrim. Either way, it sounds like Starfield is incredibly ambitious in terms of engine tech. Number two, a real ass RPG, or at least close to one. The term RPG gets thrown around a lot when it comes to video games. These days, all you need to be an RPG is a level up system, some skill trees, and maybe a character creator. But in my mind, an RPG means you can be who you want to be and play how you want to play. Early Bethesda games like Daggerfall and Morrowind really excelled at this, but Fallout 4 kind of forced you into being a parent. It was a cool setup for a first playthrough, but I never really felt compelled to return to that world because I felt like I needed to follow the game's story, not my own. For Starfield, I hope the world and story are a lot more malleable. If I play as a starship engineer, let me defeat the big bad threat by disabling their ship, or something like that. I don't know, I just don't want to shoot my way through every encounter. Think New Vegas in space, like Outer Worlds, but not Outer Worlds. And not to be confused with the other space game, Outer Wilds. Although if you click this video and you haven't played Outer Worlds, you should probably stop what you're doing and play Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds. Number three, better AI. This is a big one for me. Arguably one of the most dated aspects of all the more recent Bethesda Game Studios games is its AI. Characters constantly repeat dialogue, their pathing breaks often, most enemies just rush the player, and sometimes NPCs don't always react appropriately. Apart from bugs, broken and or janky AI is usually the immersion breaking culprit for me. It's a shame too, because Oblivion felt like such a huge leap forward when it came to AI, but I feel like not much has changed in the 15 years since. With Star field, I hope we see a more responsive and dynamic AI. Believable NPC routines with logical responses to the player's buffoonery could go a long way. Think Red Dead Redemption 2's AI, but in space. Number 4, Better Combat Alright, you knew this was coming. I feel like with every new game, Bethesda Game Studios gets incrementally better at combat, at least when it comes to shooting. Melee combat though, oh boy. Now, considering Starfield is a sci-fi game, I'm sure you'll be doing a lot of shooting, but if there is melee combat, it needs an overhaul. Desperately. I am so tired of swinging at air. At the very least, there needs to be more impact. I'd also love to see moment-to-moment -moment fight mechanics like parries, counters, and reposts. As for the shooting, I feel like more mobility could work wonders. Right now, when I play Fallout, all I do is backpedal and shoot. It sucks. Say what you want about Cyberpunk 2077, well don't actually, I'm very tired of Cyberpunk takes, but the mobility and double jump upgrade made the combat in that game a hell of a lot more interesting. Number 5, Spaceships. Let me fly a spaceship please, but also let me fast travel when I don't want to fly a spaceship. 
Thanks, Todd. Number six, a modder's paradise. The biggest reason I still play Bethesda games to this day is for the mods. Don't get me wrong, I love these janky games. I happily put in hundreds of hours in Oblivion, Fallout 3, Skyrim, and Fallout 4 at launch. But the reason I come back years later is because of the modding community. The work the community has done over the years is nothing short of incredible. I know Todd and the team at Bethesda knows this, but I just want to reiterate it here. Empower the community. Number seven, no more bugs unless they are really funny. In this world, nothing is certain except death, taxes, and buggy Bethesda games. In a perfect world, Starfield would be bug free, but this world isn't perfect. There will be bugs, but at the very least, I hope Bethesda manages to iron out all the game breaking bugs. I feel like whenever a game of this scope comes out, three days after launch, some kid on Reddit had all his data wiped because he saved his game in the wrong place at the wrong time. So with that said, less bad bugs, more good bugs, like this one. Well, there are seven things I want to see in Starfield. If there's something I missed, let us know in the comments below, or you can find me on Twitter at Jacob Deck. If you enjoyed this video and are thinking, hey, I'd like to see another video this guy made, you should check out my video on Oblivion 15 years later. That's right, Oblivion is 15 years old. You're welcome.